Hello, I'm Peter Morgan Jones from Hammond Care, Executive Chef. I'm Emily Columbagay, Accredited Practicing Dietitian at Hammond Care. And today we're going to show you one of our recipes from our book, Don't Give Me Eggs That Bounce. And this one will be uh, the salmon fillets for a smooth puree diet. This one is uh, ideal for a salmon, which we're going to do today, and the other one is ideal for probably doing a white um, fish. First of all, we spray the moulds with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And then we get the salmon, and I've, I've cleaned this, there's no bones, there's no um, skin on this, and you try and remove all the bloodline as well. So there's 200 grams of salmon goes into a food processor. And then we've got a teaspoon of salt and a um, quarter of a teaspoon of white pepper. And then we just do a little sprinkle of nutmeg. Nutmeg goes really well with salmon. And it also goes nice with the white fish. You can actually use this recipe for lobsters, prawns, uh, whiting, or any, any decent white fish. So it's quite versatile. You can actually, actually use the same recipe for chicken. You just replace the protein of the fish protein with the chicken protein. All we do then is I'm going to uh, put the lid on and we're going to blend it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I've, I've just uh, blended the fish just roughly for a little while, um, then I add the cream. You have to work quite quickly because you don't want to overheat the fish. So then we just blend this. So we know that protein is really important for older people and for people with dementia. Good sources of protein are meat like fish and chicken, eggs, legumes and dairy products. And we know that protein is really important for their skin and for their muscle mass, maintaining good muscle strength and mobility. So that's why it's important to prioritise protein in someone's diet. So here's the blended salmon with the cream. Uh, make sure there's no lumps in it. So first of all, we're adding it to the egg whites. So there's just one egg white in there and you whisk it so you can stick it over someone's head and it won't come out. Then you just carefully fold this through with a metal spoon. So now I'm carefully incorporating the egg whites in with the, um, the mousse and folding it through. The reason you use a spoon is actually to, um, it cuts the actual mousse and it keeps the, um, keeps the egg whites firming, so it makes it a real nice, light consistency. And this recipe also uses cream, which people sometimes think, oh, isn't cream unhealthy? But for someone who has dementia, who might be losing weight and has a poor appetite, you know, we want to make the most of every mouthful um, and make sure that the foods that we have are high energy and high protein. So cream can actually be a really good way of adding extra calories. And then we spray the top with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. The, the idea of this, and we put the glad glad bake on there or baking paper. The reason for this, it stops it forming a skin and you don't want any edge on anything for a smooth puree diet. And then that's it, it's ready to go and we just pop that in the oven, 100 degrees for between 13 to 15 minutes. Here's one I prepared a little earlier. Um, we took the fish out, put it on the plate, um, served it with some carrots and peas. And I've also done one there uh, to highlight what you can do using chicken as well, using a chicken breast mold from the silicon moulds, you find those in the back of the book. And here's the book, and we've got another 117 cracking recipes from Don't Give Me Eggs That Bounce.